do want to jump into Godfather of Harlem because of, you know, I believe, you know, sure. episode nine is airing today and then we're following with the finale, I believe next week on. So season three is on, you know, MGM plus and you play Jose Miguel battle, which let's see if you can see the, the corporation, um, which is an awesome book. Uh, if, uh, if you haven't uh, read it, you know, for fans, I highly recommend it, but you play Jose Miguel battle. And for me, I mean, I read this book, you know, a few years ago, and that's when I was first introduced to to Jose. And if you're familiar with the Bay yeah. of Pigs invasion, um, you know, he was one of the individuals that was, yep, that was caught, was sent back and, you know, eventually, you know, made his way to Union City. He was essentially a godfather amongst the, the he was a godfather, right, with the Cubans, worked with the mafia and the Bolita. And so definitely, I mean, I, I highly recommend because we're I think this is the first time where we're really seeing his character in depth on screen, at least for for this amount of time. But um, what's it like, you know, playing Jose? And was there any research that you had to do before taking the part? I I had I, I'd read the book. I read the book when it came out. You know, I knew I knew battle was. Um from Belita, you just you know Cuban, you you knew about this dude, you know, you know he's from a different time than me, but he was a you know he was a uh, uh, a mythical kind of uh, older being, than life, you know, older than life kind of guy, yeah, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> so when the corporation came out, I I um I read it and I loved it, uh, and. You know, I knew there was a film that Benicio del Toro was trying to do and all that was going on and I didn't know what was happening with it. And and then a lot, you know, years passed since the book comes out. And uh, I get uh, Michael Paines, who's one of the producers and writers. The Godfather of Harlem is a guy I've known for many, many years. Uh, and I've known Chris Brancato, you know, we be, we become more friends since I started working with him on Godfather of Harlem. But I knew we, I'd, I'd met him and I knew him, you know, and he's a good dude and uh, and I knew his work obviously. Uh, so they they called and asked if I wanted to play battle. You know what I mean? And uh, I I I almost literally thought they were fucking kidding, you know. And I was like, uh, because nobody had played this guy, nobody. We we hadn't seen anybody portray this guy on any screen. I, I don't even no. think the world really knows who the hell Battle is. Hmm. You know, um, I mean, they do now and they will. Um, but so, you know, I mean, I there's no way I could say no to this. You know, so yeah, that's what we did. We did it, and I had I had, uh, you know, and I've told them this. One of the greatest times. I've ever had making a television show playing battle with, uh, and, you know, and working with Forrest, who I, I mean, is one of the greatest actors I've ever had the pleasure of sitting across from. Uh, I mean, just, and I truly mean that. I mean, there, you look into his eyes, that guy's there, man. He's there, he's there, and he's, so we went and did it and I had, I had a great time and um, it's, it, it's a great ride. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is season three. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, I have you on. I definitely feel like this is the best season yet. Um, there's just a lot of air of, you know, sort of what's looming with the CIA. And this specific story has always been really interesting to me because you read the book and you get so many details. Like books and, and may, like the Godfather book, there's just more details in the book than you get in the movie so like for me i was excited yeah. to finally see this character and you know sort of everything that i was sort of introduced from you know research and in the book as well and you definitely um brought you know bring the character justice and sort of how i envisioned him to be as well and uh i also can't uh, not mention that uh gabriel rodriguez g-rod who i know him as has been on our show three or four yeah he's part of your crew i was like oh man this yeah, is he's awesome. part of my crew man no, he's a he's a he's a beautiful guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G -Ron. I just, <laughs> I love that so guy. the last the last time we had him on, I was telling him because I've had him on maybe three or four times, right? And the first time I saw him was on Cobra Kai. But then when we brought him back on the last time, I was like, you know, every time I'm watching TV, I'm seeing you on screen. You're always on TV now. And he's like, Man, I'm you know, he was really blessed and excited. So when I saw him on 
Godfather of Harlem, and then seeing him in your crew, I was like, man, that's that's a perfect fit. No, it's good, man. He's a great guy. He's great. He was great in it. He's great in the show, and he again, when he's a beautiful dude, you know. Um, yeah, no, I, I love that guy. We're, we're we're obviously we're I met him on the show. We're friends, but we yeah. we're friends on Instagram. Yeah, you know. Cool. And- I mean, I got listen. I've been very fortunate, man. I've 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 been surrounded by by really great people. You know, I I, I you know, I try to uh, I try to do the same for others. You know, or and I know you can't obviously say much or spoil much, but what can fans expect with the final two episodes? Mayhem. Mayhem. <laughs> yeah, Take man. It. I can't. Take I it. I can't really. I can, yeah. I I obviously I can't really. I can't say it because, uh, you know, I'm, um, I'm, uh, I would be sued, Uh, but uh, uh, it'll be, you know, I would just say strap in. Yep. yep, It's going to get spicy. 